EA agrees to a $1.2 billion acquisition of Codemasters. Vin Diesel is going to have a big role in the development of Mark II, and Xbox is getting a new Space Jam game, but the gamers are going to be able to decide what type of game it is. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you see throughout this video, hey, maybe consider subscribing to help this channel grow and join the community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. But for now, let's jump into this. So there's been some interesting stuff going on with Codemasters and it being acquired. Firstly, we thought that it was going to be acquired by Take-Two Interactive, which put a bid on the company themselves and it was valued at 900 and 73.48 million dollars and everyone thought that was a done deal and that take two was going to be taking over codemasters but it looks like that is not the case as ea has agreed on a 1.2 billion dollar acquisition of the developer now codemasters is obviously known for their racing games our most recent one dirt 5 which i have on the xbox series x and it is an absolutely beautifully stunning looking game the racing is a ton of fun and dirt 5 was a little bit weird in the sense that i found that reviews and Twitter and the sentiment around the game before it was released for some reason was negative people saying that did not look as good as they wanted it to but I honestly think that Dirt 5 is still right now one of the best looking next generation games that you can buy and a game you should definitely pick up if you like racing games or if you just want to show off how good games can look in full HDR in 4k playing on the Xbox Series X or PS5 and then they have a bunch of other racing game Franchises like Project Cars and F1 are there other big ones and then there's this game down here grid Which I think is a lot of fun, but there's also this one here, which is on rush I think that one's like a, a really fast paced kind of action arcade style race game So that's another franchise now for a lot of people This was a surprise that EA came in and kind of took over the deal offered a bigger amount of money And they are going to be acquiring Codemasters and if you hate EA you're gonna be pissed off But I think if you're an Xbox gamer no matter what you feel about towards EA, this is a really good thing because it means that these games going into EA are going to eventually enter EA Play and then eventually make their way out onto Game Pass because if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you get access to EA Play. And that is just a great thing for the subscription service because it's more great variety, more great games coming into the service. And I want to check out some of their other racing games now that I probably wouldn't have checked out before. And I think some of them are already in Game Pass. I think like some of the F1 games, I could be mistaken on that, but I believe they are in Game Pass. But I would love to see all of their catalog make its way over at some point. And this is a avenue that's going to be able to make that happen. So in this article here, it says in an explanation for the deal, Codemasters chairman Gerard Florin said that both companies have a shared ambition to lead the video game racing category. We feel the union would provide an exciting and prosperous future for Codemasters, allowing our teams to create, launch and service bigger and better games to an extremely passionate audience. Now, that may be true in the sense that they are going to have a lot more money now. They're going to be able to reach a lot more people. But I think the biggest reason they did that deal is because 1.2 billion dollars is a ton of money so yeah overall i mean i'm not the biggest codemasters fan or the biggest racing game fan but if ea games come to game pass i mean i will take more ea games or more games coming to game pass than less games just hopefully they do the right things by codemasters allow them to continue to create these great racing games and they don't butcher the franchises but if you remember at the game awards they showed off a really surprising trailer i don't think anybody saw this coming and it was the announcement of arc 2 being an xbox exclusive and vin diesel was in the trailer well it looks like vin diesel is going to have a lot more control over how this game goes as he is going to be the president of creative convergence Here Here's what he's going to be doing in a press release studio wildcard says that vin diesel will both portray the hero santiago in arc 2 as well as serving on the production team as wildcard's president of creative convergence since it's not really clear what this fantasy title means the press release later clarifies that diesel will perform an executive producer role and as we know arc 2 is an exclusive to the xbox series x and the xbox series s so that means he's going to have a lot more say in how this game turns out and i know that the arc community is massive i think still on steam it has one of the biggest communities out there so arc fans are don't know how they'll feel about this i never really got into arc but if you're someone who plays arc i will let know what you think i know that he's been involved in other games like this game here chronicles of riddick escape from butcher bay on the original xbox was an incredible game i 
one of those games that just flies under the radar, I think, and that nobody plays. It's kind of a cult classic. I think I still have my physical version of the game. And he must be heavily involved in that. This even says here, Diesel founded the developer Tygon Studios back in 2002, which produced several games that he started, most notably Chronicles of Riddick Escape for Butcher Bay. So yeah, he was highly involved in that with the studio, obviously. And it was a great game. So I don't really have negativity towards the announcement that he's going to have a big role in Arc 2. I think it could end up being good. He does have decent stuff. He does make those Fast and Furious movies. And I mean, we'll have to wait and see what happens. And finally, we have a weird one here and it has to do with the new Space Jam movie coming out in the summer of 2021. It looks like Xbox is reaching out to fans for ideas on an accompanying game to come out at the same time as the movie. Now the movie comes out in the summer of 2021, so there won't be a lot of time to actually create this game, but you can go to their website where they're taking ideas and you can submit an idea. And this is the website here. So basically you go through and you can select like the type of game you want it to be. So strategy, tactics, sim, shooter, action, platformer, adventure baller. There's a bunch of stuff here. So there's 16 genres in total that you get to choose from. And then you get to tell them about the story and the vision for the game here. And if you win, you get like a big prize. And those prizes include your name in the game, signed and authenticated LeBron James memorabilia, personalized Xbox Series S gaming pack, and Nike Space Jam, a new legacy VIP pack. So it's kind of an interesting collaboration that they're doing here. And if you're somebody who's really creative and you want to get your name in a game and maybe get a start into game development, this may be a place for you to start potentially. I mean, you're not actually developing the game or just submitting an idea. And then if they go with that idea, you will win these prizes here. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about all of these things in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the EA acquisition of Codemasters and how you think this is going to affect Game Pass. Let me know what you think about Vin Diesel being the executive producer for our Two. Let me know what you think about that Space Jam and Xbox collaboration. Let me know, would you ever consider submitting your idea for that game? And what genre would you want the Space Jam game to be? I'd love to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you enjoyed to see throughout this video, then maybe consider subscribing to help this channel grow. Really appreciate all of you for watching and appreciate all your support. And I will catch you in the next video.